We are filming on a tripod today. It's, I think my first video actually filming on a tripod. They gave me this little remote. See the little remote? Um, that I can like turn the video on and off with, which is really cool. So if I sit here and fiddle with it, I'm sorry, I'm not used to having a remote in my hand when I film. Face is glowing. Um, this is also the first video in this new series that I am doing, which I am so excited about. We are doing a featured series. A featured series, does that make sense? Featured series. Before I tell you more about that, I should let you know that, hello, my name is Emily. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on my video. Don't forget to also click that like and subscribe button down below. Biggie's also here, if you wanna see him. I hit my plant shawl. Say hi. Hello. Um, I'm sitting on the floor, so he's, and I'm using his cat tower and he's not happy about it. <laughs> Today's video is the first one of a series, so I have changed my uploading schedule to Tuesdays and Fridays. So on the Friday video, we're doing a featured video. So they're gonna be shorter. I think they're gonna be around five minutes long. We are gonna be talking about either a featured plant or a featured seed because it's seed season, a featured store, a featured online store, maybe an Etsy store, something along those lines. Uh, we could also be talking about a featured product, something that I love, something that I use regularly. We'll probably talk about my grow lights at some point or my humidifier. I don't know if you can see the little breeze coming, my humidifier's going. Um, we could do a feature on my cat if you want. He's curling up right in my lap right now. Just can you, you can't you can't see this. Just, do you want to do you want to tilt so you can see what's happening down here? <laughs> that's that's it. I'm so excited about it. Today's featured want featured. We're doing a featured plant today to start us off in this journey. We are going to be talking about. A peperomia hope. Ooh, you're gonna like um, scooch over a little. Oh, the cat's in my lap. Um, a peperomia hope. This is a peperomia hope. I'll do a little close up for you. She is beautiful. I love it so much. So the peperomia hope is in the peperomia family. It's a little bit different from most peperomias from my opinion. The leaves are a little bit more, yeah, they're just a little bit more thick than most. It's more of like a succulent rather than a lot of peperomias are more like a house plant, like a tropical plant. Yeah, you can see how thick the leaves are. You can see that they have like a little, almost like a little like lighter green stripe through them. This one's really, really full and it's also really light. This plant likes a lot of sunlight. It like, you can see, don't swat at it, you can see up here where like the leaves are quite close together, like each bunching. And then you can see here, now that it's winter, there's a way bigger gap right there. So it likes quite a bit of sunlight. I give it direct sunlight, to be honest. Not super, not like in crazy amount of direct sunlight, but at night, this actually sits in my massive window, which is a northeast of a west facing window. So it gets sun from about 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. But it's like later afternoon sun. So it's not quite so strong. It that's where it lives in the summer um, through the winter. It's actually living on this side of my plant shelf because I have a grow light that goes across the top. So it's getting enough light from the grow light, which is good or it's getting some light, I should say. The next thing we should know about the Peperomia Hope is it doesn't like to be overwatered. Like most plants, the roots will rot. So you can definitely, the easiest way to tell if this plant needs water is one, the leaves sort of shrivel like this. This strand might just need a little bit of water, but you see how this is like a little bit shriveled. It's like kind of turned where like most of them are quite flat. The other thing is the taco style. So you can actually take your leaf and squeeze it. And if you can like actually give it, like squeeze it and make it into like a taco, you'll know that it needs water. So I'm actually going to give this another few days. I can just feel that it's quite light and I can squeeze the soil. It's like breaking apart. Um, how I water this is I actually bottom water it because I find that when I top water, it get the water gets stuck on the leaves and in between like the stem and the leaf and it actually makes the leaf itself rot. So I bottom water this only and that's it. I put like a little, there's a hole there and then I actually dug myself a few little holes right at the bottom because I do not want to overwater it. <laughs> I don't want the water sitting at the bottom there. 
um, or anything like that. So I've been told that they're susceptible to mealy bugs. I'll leave a little, I have a bugs I'm currently dealing with video. I'll leave it right to there. Then you can see what mealy bugs look like in the common signs to look out for. I have never found any on mine, but maybe most people have. I just read that that's what it is susceptible to is mealy bugs, which makes sense. Like the leaves, it has like four leaves in one little spot. It'd be hard to clean them and stuff and they can hide really well. So this is the Peperomia Hope. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. I am so excited about this new series and we will be ne back next Friday for another one. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you made it all the way, way to the end, leave me a little, leave me a little taco emoji just for fun. Um, so leave me a little taco emoji and we will see you next. We will actually see you on Tuesday. This uploading schedule is kind of throwing me off a little bit. We will see you Tuesday for another video and then Friday for another feature video. Bye! Whoa, that's bright. Do not swat at this plant. I understand it's trailing, but you can't swat at it. That's mean. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button. Ready? Oh, that didn't work. This button? Oh, there it goes. Okay. So